Good morning and welcome to 4.45 a.m. Yep, I did it guys. I got up and now I'm going to go into the gym and work it out. So let's do this. gym I went home and got ready I only had like five minutes to do my makeup so this is what I'm doing today and I just went by and got a huge coffee it's a venti just brewed coffee and now I'm gonna go into work and I'll get off at five so I will see you guys at five so I have on purple shoes today I just wanted to pop in to say that this creamer is awesome and if you are looking for a new creamer you might try this one. I've tried the So Delicious brand of vanilla almond milk creamer and I feel like this one tastes more realistically vanilla if that makes sense. Uh, this has no aftertaste. It's so creamy. I really love this one. So I know I showed this in my last vlog in that little haul. So it's good stuff and it's only like $1.98 at Walmart and I think it's about $2 at Giant or most grocery stores. Okay, it's much later now. It's about 7 p.m. and I worked all day until 5 and then I had to run some errands including uh, going to Dollar Tree and also I'll show you in a second what I picked up from there. So this is like a vlog plus Dollar Tree haul. I think you may remember those from Vlogmas. So that's fun. Then I had to go get some coffee because we were completely out this morning. I had to use some half-calf and I definitely could obviously taste a difference and yeah, it was not good. So I got some coffee and an exciting package came, which I'll show you in a second too. I'm gonna to try to put that together and I can show you. Um... So here's the package that arrived. And by the way, I'm sorry about the air conditioning sound. It's going to be kind of inevitable in my vlogs because it's like 90 degrees out lately. And yeah, it just makes a lot of noise. But anyway, off topic, back to the package. What is in here is a soft box light, which is used for filming and for photography. I finally broke down and decided to upgrade my lighting setup. In fact, over here, I have a bunch of bags from Home Depot because I tried to make my own kind of lighting setup and it cost less just to buy one than for me to make my own. So I'm gonna try to put this together and we can test it out. Are you gonna help me open that? You can help me put it together. Do you know how to put it together? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna do that. I see how it is. I also wanted to show you this note that was left on our door. When my husband got home, I guess uh, he went over and got the package, but it says my grandma has your package. A lot of theft has been happening just looking out. And I covered her name up with a little pink piece of paper because she signed her full name so we'd know. But I just thought that was so sweet that our neighbors are looking out for us. We live in a safe area, but there's a lot of petty theft that happens in our town. Like I've had my debit card stolen, I think I told you two years ago, our house was broken into and they took a lot of petty things. They could have taken, you know, our TV or something and, you know, they took a broken laptop and they took random stuff. I think it's just, you know, unfortunately there are people who are just trying to get things so they can sell them, so they can do whatever. But I just thought that was really sweet and it kind of restores my faith in humanity because this, you know, girl watched out for us. So thought that was sweet. Can we just take a second to look at how huge this light bulb is? Wow. Thanks for all your help, Luna. You're really doing a great job there. Recycling. It says reduce, reuse, recycle. That's what bunnies are for. Okay, here is the soft box set up. So it has a stand and there's the light and it has that giant light bulb inside. So I'm going to turn it on now and let's see what happens. <laughs> so here it is turned on. Are you blinded? Are you blinded right now? Okay, so I have the light facing me and so now we can see what kind of effect this gives. It's super bright to look at. I'm sure it looks equally as bright on camera, but it does illuminate the area quite well. So I'm pretty happy. Okay, I'm gonna use this opportunity to test my new light in this vlog and see how it works. I'm probably gonna have to play around with it to get it right, especially with the white balance, but that's okay. I've got some coffee here. 
So let me show you the things that I picked up from Dollar Tree and I ran to Walmart really quick. So I was super excited to find this first thing. In fact, I already ate one, but these are the Mauer Sports Nutrition uh, Protein Bites. These are cashew butter. These taste so good that I went back and got four more bags. One of my coworkers really loves cashews, so I'm gonna let her try one. They have all natural ingredients, non-GMO, so I think these are delicious for a little snack. They also had almond butter ones. So I picked up one bag of the almond butter ones and I'll try these and go back for more if I like them. So got those. Whew, it is so hot in my house right now. So the reason that I went to Dollar Tree was to get more of these dry floor cloths. I use these to dust my house and also I Swiffer the floor. And since Luna's been shedding, she's just like, it's just like one tumbleweed of rabbit hair around here. It's kind of gross. And so I have to Swiffer the floor like every day. But that's fine. She's cute, so it makes up for it. Then I found some new prints of the Sassy and Chic Nails. Uh, they had like five new prints at my store, which I'll insert a picture of now. But I just picked up these, which are blue with polka dots. I thought they were really cute. And one thing I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned in a video about the Sassy and Chic Nails is you need to look at the pinky nails in this set because there are two different sizes of pinky nails. So there's a set that has a tiny pinky nail and then there's like this one that I got that has a larger size pinky nail. I've made the mistake a couple times of getting the ones that had the tiny pinky nails and then I can't use them, but these you can file to your nail size. So just check out the pinkies and see if you know which one would best match your nails. So moving right along, I got some mouthwash. This is the Laboris or Laboris whitening mouthwash. And I have never tried this before, but I'm excited to see if it works. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, so you know how that goes when you like are scheduled to go to the dentist. You all of a sudden are really um, strict with your <laughs> dental regimen and flossing, you know, twice a day and using mouthwash and stuff. So that's that's where I'm at right now. I do floss, but of course, I don't floss every day, I'm not gonna lie, but I really should get on it. My sister-in-law would tell me like, floss every time you eat, and I know I should, so. Then I found two new shades of the Milani Shadow Eyes uh, Jumbo Eye Pencils. I only got one, there was a golden shimmery brown, it was like a dark golden shimmery brown, if that makes sense, and then there was this one, which is Cafe Al Lot, which is a lighter brown, and it's matte, and I thought I'd be more likely to use this one, so I picked that up. I also picked up this White Rain Moisturizing Body Wash in Shea Butter Orchid, and I need a new body wash. This smells really good, really fresh, and so I, I remembered while I was in the store that I was kind of running low on body wash, so I decided to pick this one up, and it has 15 fluid ounces, which is, I think, a pretty good deal. Um, did I miss anything? No. At Walmart, I just picked up a few things. I picked up some more coffee because we were had a desperate need for coffee. This is the eight o'clock um, Central Highlands whole bean coffee. I prefer, we prefer whole bean coffee. This is the dark roast. So uh, it smells good. So hopefully it will taste good as well. Then I picked up this little pencil box. It's by Sterilite. And it's basically half the size of the bigger ones. And the reason I got this is because I saw this article from a dermatologist that was saying that you shouldn't leave your makeup brushes out in the bathroom because with the steam of your shower and with toilet activities and all of that, there's a lot more bacteria in there. So if you leave your brushes out, it's more likely that bacteria would stick to them. So if you're going to have brushes in your bathroom, you should cover them. Now I have some brushes in my brush garden. Uh, if you saw that video, if not, I'll link it down below. And those are out, but it's in a well-ventilated area that like my beauty vanity that isn't exposed to, I guess, as much bacteria. But in your bathroom, I guess, it's more concentrated. So I got this one to put kind of my everyday brushes in there, or put the ones that I'm using at the moment in there, and then I can seal it. And I've been trying to get a lot better about spot cleaning because I was getting like a constant breakout right here, and I think it's from a brush, you know? Uh, so spot cleaning, and then even spraying, I believe, the inside of here with like a, um, like alcohol or witch hazel or a combination of alcohol and orange oil. That's really, uh, that's a cleansing formula. So spraying some of that in there and then keeping them protected. So I'm gonna try that and I'll let you know. If I can find that article too, then I'll leave it linked down below. I'll look for it. I'm not sure, it's kind of one of those things that like popped up on Facebook that I started reading from like, um, like a magazine or something. And yeah, I 
So I think, yeah, that is everything that I got in my haul today. A little mini haul, little haul within a vlog, if you will. And I hope you enjoyed this haul. And so now I'm gonna make some dinner because I'm hungry. So let's do that. So here is my gallon of water challenge update. I was a little bit farther yesterday by this time, but that's okay. I'm still going to finish it. And I think I'm going to continue doing this for a whole week and see kind of what benefits there are and see if I should continue it. If this should be a goal, you know, every day or to try to drink this much water because one thing I for sure have noticed is that I've been drinking today less coffee because I was focused more on drinking the water, I drank less coffee, but I still felt like I had a lot of energy. So I think that was just a natural energy from being hydrated, which is great. So I don't know, let me know, would you guys like to see a blog post or a video about my experience drinking a gallon of water every day for seven days? Because I would be more than willing to do that, so. So I had dinner, I had a salad with lots of broccoli, and I used this like light Caesar dressing. It was pretty yummy. I had some sunflower seeds in it. Basically just a lot of veggies that were in my fridge and I put it all together. I did finish my entire gallon and then I refilled this one up for tomorrow. And now I, I took a bath actually and I played with Luna for a little bit. And now I'm going to read some in this book. It's called The Poison Tree. It's a mystery novel. It's not scary, but it's like a mystery and the person in it, it involves linguists and translators and so that's part of my job so it's interesting for me maybe. And I have some sleepy time tea so I am going to get in bed, drink my tea, read some in this book and then I have to be at work super early tomorrow so I already set my coffee pot. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know what you think about the lighting, and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Have a good night. Don't.